Chelsea here, owner of Roba Life, where we use innovative life insurance to protect families. If you're just tuning in, I'm glad you're here, but you have missed a few things. I'm going to need you to hit that like and subscribe button. Catch up now because you're not going to want to miss this life hack. jumping right into indexed universal loans and how they work. In my videos before this, we went over what is an indexed universal life insurance policy, why it was created, and the internal tax revenue codes that need to be adhered to in order to properly structure and correctly fund these policies. In a life insurance policy, 72E states that we can accumulate money tax-free 7702 says that we can access that money tax-free and then 101a says that we can transfer that money tax-free we also went over how to fund your policy with a hundred thousand dollars so that your policy doesn't become a mech or taxable today we are focused on the last step of the infinite banking process and that is taking the loans on an indexed universal policy and how to create positive arbitrage with your money. So an IUL has five loan options. The first loan option I'm gonna go over is our standard loan, which is taken in the first five years of the policy and you would pay 1% of what you net. The second loan option that I'm going over is preferred loan, which means that you would take this loan after year 11 and you would pay 0% net cost. Both of these options are extremely conservative and that's no fun, especially when you realize the opportunities that were missed using these loan options. They say scared money doesn't make money and I find that to be true and I'm gonna tell you why. You can do a withdrawal and that is where you are returning cost basis so it's gonna reduce the account dollar by dollar. You can always do a full surrender. Uh, you'll probably have some tax implications. So the interest that you earned on the money inside the policy, you might have to pay taxes on. And then you get to my recommendation, which is the index loans. Uh, you would borrow from the cash value and still gain interest as if it was still there. Ideally, achieving positive arbitrage by gaining interest on the money you have borrowed. For the infinite banking process, we need to mirror what banks do and banks loan money to gain interest. So we have to look at the index loans to achieve this. As we talked about before, IUL secure your money with a floor and a ceiling. So for this example, I'm gonna use 0% as a floor and 15% as a ceiling and I like to give very conservative projections. So for this example, I'm gonna say that the policy is gaining a 6% average rate of return. So again, we're gonna use the $100,000 uh, for this example. Now, let's say that we are gonna take a $10,000 loan on our $100,000 cash value. Our loan of $10,000 is gonna cost us 3% to borrow that money. However, we're gaining 6%. We also made 6% uh, on the 90,000 we have in there, which is 94,400. So a total of $6,000 interest we gained by borrowing that $10,000. Now you don't have to pay back this loan. The $10,000 can simply be deducted from the death benefit when you do pass. However, you've already created positive arbitrage with borrowed money. So wonder instead you take that 10,000 and now invest it again. Invest it in real estate or the market. I mean, this takes infinite banking to the next level and it can only be done by using an index universal life insurance policy. I have so much more to say so make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, all my links are in the bio and I'll see you next time.